Peace. This is Wise for Wise Words Media. And I just wanted to quickly address a lie that I just saw recently online. Some misinformation that was put out by former professional boxer Paulie Malinaji. So, Paulie Malinaji was on this podcast recently. And he brings up Devin Haney's name. And he says that Devin Haney will vacate all the belts and move to 140... Because he's afraid of Lomachenko. Because he, according to Pauli Malinaji, Lomachenko can beat Devin Haney. And Devin Haney knows it. So let's unpack this bag of lies real quick. We can simply go back to 2019. Three years ago. Three years ago, a young, only 20 years old, Devin Haney, after a victory... Standing in the ring with Chris Mannix from the zone, Chris Mannix asks, asked him, "You, what do you want next? You have Lomachenko out there, you're, and Devin Haney said, "No, you said his name wrong. His name is Nomachenko because he doesn't want to fight me. We've been trying to get this fight with with him, and he doesn't want to fight me. So, and he go, Devin Haney even goes on to say, if I'm so easy, then why don't you fight me?'" Come on, Lomachenko, let's do this. So, Mannix even says Lomachenko's name again, and Devin Haney said, no, you're saying it wrong. It's Nomachenko. So, he's even in the ring antagonizing Lomachenko three years ago, antagonizing him in the middle of the ring. And, you know, what a true champion would do. A true champion will respond, right? They will reply, right? Well... Lomachenko did respond, but not in the way that fight fans wanted. What Lomachenko ended up doing, because around that same time, the WBC created this designation. It's a status called the franchise champion. It is not a belt, but it's a special status, a designation that was given to Canelo Alvarez. Because Canelo Alvarez had problems of his own in the form of Jamal Charlo who was his mandatory opponent. So this franchise designation was created so that the franchise champion, Canelo, will no longer be obligated to fight any mandatory fighters. So this allows him, it, it's the, the duck strap. It allowed him to pick whatever opponent he wants to pick and he doesn't have to, he's not obligated to fight mandatories anymore under the WBC. So, Lomachenko and Top Rank and Lomachenko's management team, they catch wind of this. They hear, oh, Canelo got some kind of special status where he doesn't have to fight his mandatories. I want that. Let's get that for Lomachenko. So, Team Lomachenko reaches out to Mauricio Suleiman and... Mauricio Suleiman said, and this is on record. This is on record. This is not like Paulie talking out of his elbows and telling you, oh, I'm um that that Devin Haney is scared and whatever without any backing, without any kind of proof. You could go on YouTube right now and Google Mauricio Suleiman fight hype interview. Where Mauricio Suleiman, out of his own mouth, the president of the WBC out of his own mouth says that they never selected Lomachenko to become a franchise champion. He was never selected. That Lomachenko and his team reached out to the WBC. They reached out to Mauricio Suleiman and requested, requested the franchise status. And Mauricio Suleiman goes on to elaborate even further and says the franchise is not a title. It's not a belt. It is a designation. It is a status. And he said he never gave that status to Lomachenko. Team Lomachenko, top rank, they reached out. And recently, because now that, you know, it's hard to hide a lie in these days. In this age of information with YouTube and Google and there's receipts everywhere. So it's hard to hide this type of truth. So Lomachenko recently tried to deny that. He said he never requested or he never 
He never asked to be a uh, uh, franchise champion. Mauricio Suleiman has nothing to lie about. It's out of his own mouth that he stated that Lomachenko, not only did their team and management and promotion reach out to the WBC for that special designation, Lomachenko signed off to be a WBC franchise champion and get all the perks that come with it, which is your get out of jail free card when it comes to fighting Devin Haney because he did not want to fight Devin Haney. Three years ago, he was Devin Haney's mandatory opponent. And what did Lomachenko do? He vacated the title. He gave up the belt in order to avoid those Devin Haney problems. So this is a guy in Lomachenko that says, yes, he wants to move up to lightweight to 135 and conquer another division and get all the belts. So that was his, his mission statement when he went and moved up to 135. But then all of a sudden, when you got Devin Haney in front of you, you vacate your belt? Come on, man. We already know what it is. So, Paulie Malignaggi, he has his... He just doesn't like Devin Haney. You know, maybe he just doesn't want to see another Floyd Mayweather. So, this is the closest thing to Floyd Mayweather that we have between Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson. So... He doesn't want to see another uh, another Mayweather. So this is why he is going at Devin Haney. And why he's so adamant about Devin Haney and lying about Devin Haney. When Devin Haney was in the ring calling out Lomachenko. I want you to, Paulie Malignaggi and anybody else, tell me when has Lomachenko in the past three years called out Devin Haney? When has he even... Mentioned or made any remote semblance that he wants to fight Devin Haney. When? When does he say? When has he ever said anything remotely close to implying he wants to fight Devin Haney? His, it's never happened. On the contrary, it's been Devin Haney after fights and in interviews calling out Lomachenko. But yet Lomachenko, null and void. What he does, he takes the opposite route. He goes and gets a franchise designation. Which was his get out of free get out of jail free card, and now he was no longer obligated to fight Devin Haney, who was the WBC mandatory champion at that time. So Paulie Malignaggi is lying. He has his own bias agenda against Devin Haney for whatever reason, and that's why he's pulling he's spewing these lies out there. Because Devin Haney, it's even so much so a fact that Devin Haney wanted the Lomachenko fight that that was part of the reason he took this three-fight deal with top rank. And not only is that part of the reason, he didn't announce that he was going to fight Cambosis until Lomachenko and Jermaine Ortiz, who is uh, inexperienced, he's only got 16 fights. And he's Lomachenko's former sparring partner. He's undefeated. He's 16-0. But he's a young fighter. Inexperienced. Lomachenko, with all these years of experience, comes back and wants to fight a guy he's already familiar with. A sparring partner. And that's inexperienced. Only 16 fights in the professional ranks. So instead of coming back to fight Devin Haney, because Devin Haney left the calendar clear. In fact, they both were aligned for October. So Devin Haney left the calendar clear. But once Team Lomachenko decided to go that route, that's when Devin Haney was like, all right, I'll give Cambosis the rematch. So don't listen to these lies out here, man. People got their biased opinions. They don't want to see another Floyd Mayweather. And Devin Haney is him and Shakur are the closest things we have to the next Floyd. And it burns him up. He doesn't like it. And that's why he's out here spewing these lies about Devin Haney. So, yeah, this is Wise for Wise Words Media, dispelling all the lies. Enjoy your Friday. Peace.